professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, and in this walkthrough, um, what I'll go over is um, a SAS program, um, and then I'll kind of give you a brief description of um, what each part means, um, and then show you kind of the results um, of this output. Um, so getting started, um, if you um, are familiar with the SAS um, uh, layout, um, you'll see that it, this is an on-demand um, free version where um, you're able to run code. Um, so the step before we get to this window um, is just one simple step um, where you go um, to the left hand side um, and select this button out um, and select new SAS program. Alternatively you can just um, uh, hit the F4 button and that will open up a new window. Um, so once you have that window open um, you can transfer the code um, that has been provided for you um, onto this window um, and then you can compile this code. Um, so what is um, within the content of this code? Um, it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to um, what each part means. Um, but if you take a look, PROC, um, it's pretty straightforward. PROC is um, short for procedure. Um, and so when you're, when you're speaking in SAS, um, in SAS speak or SAS language, um, you usually say um, uh, which procedure or which PROC you used. So in PROC contents, um, if you were to just quickly um, run this, you would see um, what is in SAS help. Dot heart. Now, just quickly, sashelp.heart is a powerful uh, data set that has been provided, included with the SAS statistical software, um, and that is part of the Framingham Heart uh, study. The Framingham data set was the original data set uh, where researchers uh, finally definitively determined longitudinally um, in a group of 5,200 um, 80 individuals in Massachusetts that hypertension was in fact um, leading to cardiovascular disease. Before this, this wasn't really known. Uh, unfortunately, um, uh, uh, Franklin Roosevelt um, passed away and when, when he did um, uh, die of a stroke, um, his blood pressure was in fact um, a lot higher um, than what we would normally think um, as, as being um, un, under normal conditions. So um, even though he was being treated, um, the fact that high blood pressure leads to cardiovascular disease was not really known. So this is a kind of, um, aside for this data set, um, you can really um, get a lot of good information out of this um, just from uh, about 10 or 11 lines of code. That is the power of SAS, and that is the power of using data sets um, which provide so much um, information like the Framingham Art Study. So let's continue on how this works. Uh, want, uh, went over PROC contents. Now PROC freak, F-R-E-Q frequency, PROC frequency. Um, this is something that is very frequently used. Um, and that is, um, so you f first start off always, um, just like in this first line of code, you probably have already noticed. Um, you always first start off by saying data. And then when you say data, you have to say equals. Um, what is the data set that it's calling? What is the data set that you want to call within your program? That is what um, data equals means. Um, and uh, procedure frequency is simply calling the procedure to run the data set within the program. That is what this line is meaning. And um, a lot of times the semicolon is, you know, I, I even now uh, forget to put these semicolons. But these semicolons are crucial. Um, 
you will quickly learn that without these semicolons, um, your whole code will fail to compile. And once you learn that, um, you'll never forget to put these semicolons. Um, but again, this is something that is um, kind of a caveat, kind of something that is uh, unique um, for to, to SAS more, more than anything. Um, so it, then you go into tables. What do you want the tables to say? Um, well, um, these are the two variables that the table um, will be assessing. Um, age at death um, versus death cause. Now, um, we, we want to um, define some of this um, data set, what, what is going to be in the output. That is now what we're um, going to define. So we've identified um, what tables we want um, and what uh, file that's going to be. Um, and we're going to be calling that test one in subsequent lines. Um, but we haven't quite identified what it is that um, is being looked for, um, that we're looking for. Um, so uh, another thing that I want you to take note here um, at this point is that each line of code is connected to the subsequent line of code. So this is kind of a methodical way of thinking. Um, and if you want to leave uh, comments um, on this data set, uh, on this um, uh, program, then all you have to do is um, write out an asterisk and then say that um, this code is written uh, for um, graphical representation. And then uh, you want to um, somehow make sure that um, th this is closed. Um, and that the next line is actually able to um, run. So um, you, you can kind of comment, um, you can comment throughout this um, so that the program knows that this is a comment and not an actual. So once you once you write a comment, um, there's the, the trick always is to remember how to end it. Um, so I, I was I was thinking about um, the actual um, symbol to end it. And so uh, the symbol is uh, semicolon. Um, so it's just similar to um, think of semicolon within the context of SAS as a period uh, within a regular sentence. Um, so th that can help you understand that. Um, so it, this code is uh, written for uh, graphical representation. This is in green. So now you know that that it will not be counted when you when when uh, SAS compiles this code, when we f finally run this code, you'll see that SAS is not counting that one green line, um, which is in the middle. Um, so let's again proceed now, um, looking at uh, proc print um, data equals test one. Remember, we already defined test one. That was going to be the table. Um, so it's going to print the table. But then what else is, gonna, is it going to print? What else do we want to see? Now, this is one that is important um, that I want you to um, kind of talk at the back of your head if you are uh, planning on using SAS in the future. And that is PROC gplot. Um, this, uh, uh, this procedure creates some very rich, uh, some, some very um, aesthetically appealing uh, looking figures, um, which then you can use to communicate a lot of this information a lot more. Um, so um, now, now that we've defined in these two lines, so so far we've had five lines, um, and we've already defined um, quite a few things um, that we want um, from this data set, from the Framingham data set. Now um, we're ready to uh, tell the program what we wanted to plot. So what we wanted to plot is a relationship between um, the the count uh, versus um, age at death. So um, so look so the relationship is actually I'm looking at age at death uh, versus death cause, um, but what is being plotted is count. Um, so again, each one of these pieces of code is like a sentence. 
So try to translate, try to go into each one of these lines. It's always good practice whenever you um, look at any piece of code and, and see if you can make sense um, what the language is speaking. Um, and then so where death cause in um, cancer, uh, cerebrovas cerebral vascular disease, coronary heart disease. Um, so uh, this is looking at um, these three uh, specific um, causes of death. Um, and then, of course, um, uh, symbol one, um, uh, there's uh, joining going on here. Um, and, and then um, there's a definition of another um, data test two. Um, and here, looking at um, modifying some other portions of the data set, um, and then looking at frequency um, and, and plot from that. So um, this is just kind of looking at two different portions of this data set um, in different ways, and then seeing how they both create results kind of come together and have uh, different portions of this um, in the results. So let's take a look, let's compile this. Um, I've been describing this for the longest time um, and make sure um, there's an, so there's an error in here. Um, so let's make sure that um, everything is correct. Um, I'm gonna, for now, remove um, this extra line of comment code in the middle. Um, seems like there is some notation error in there. Um, so we don't want to confuse the program unnecessarily. Um, so here's the output. Um, and um, this is the output you should see um, from the code that has been provided for you. Um, always uh, take a look uh, from the top um, how many observations there were. Um, we were looking at, uh, remember I, I told you it was about 5,200, so 5,209 observations. Um, we're looking at the Framingham Heart Study. Um, this was, again, the timestamp is there, which is always important because then that allows other people that you're communicating with to know um, when you ran it and, and, um, and everything else. Um, so, um, you know, just going through this a little bit more, um, here's a list of variables and attributes. Um, that was from the first command. This was generated um, from, from um, the first prompt. Um, and this would be uh, correspondent to um, the contents. Um, so if we were to just uh, run the contents, I'm, I'm just going to quickly do this here. Um, if we were to just run the contents, um, then this is all you get. You don't get the rest of the output um, that we were seeing um, in, in the previous frame. Um, so I'm going to um, switch back and run the whole code and not just one part. So uh, again, a, another interesting point there uh, that I just illustrated is that you don't, you're not always stuck with necessarily running the whole program all at the same time. If you want to experiment with um, what each code line does, I actually encourage you to do this. Um, I actually encourage you to go line by line and see how this compiles. So um, now, the trick is when you're compiling, for instance, the second line, you have to include what is in the first line or else it's incomplete. So when you're running the third line, you want to uh, run it in addition to the first two lines um, because the code, um, the full code is actually four or five lines, not just the uh, first line. Um, a, a, a whole program is comprised of uh, uh, multiple uh, pieces to it. Um, and, and that's what I'm trying to emphasize here. With SAS, um, you typically start off with the proc. Um, you enter what you want it to do. Is it is it proc freak um, uh, frequency? Um, or um, is, is it some other proc content, uh, the first one that we went over? Um, and then here's the output data. Um, so uh, uh, just uh, briefly now going over some of um, these. So I clicked over to the output data there, but um, just quickly going over some of this other output. Um, here is the age at death by death cause. Um, and this goes through um, uh, 
the three causes that we are focusing on here, um, which is cancer, uh, cerebral vascular disease, and coronary heart disease. Um, and then uh, you can kind of go down and uh, take a look at uh, some of the other causes. Um, and then finally, um, uh, I want you to spend some time um, looking at these uh, stunning graphs that have been uh, generated. Um, and this is the power of gplot. Um, some of these uh, figures are actually um, much more um, extensive uh, than what could be generated in Excel. Um, and, and so it, this shows kind of the cause of death um, and, and, and the counts um, by age. Um, so as would be expected, um, there's actually uh, higher rates of um, death at um, increased ages. Um, and then it kind of drops down in um, extremely high um, age groups as well. Um, so now taking a look at um, some of the other frequencies. So this one looks at um, the age, um, uh, a, a age of death um, five. So um, th th this is kind of looking at um, a smoothed um, estimate here um, with with different ages um, being estimate estimated um, in an even way. Um, so if you if you look at how these are uh, different, um, the x-axis, um, is uh, drawn in kind of a different way um, than than what what is there previously. So you can um, look at kind of, look at the patterns um, a little bit more um, distinctly than um, what you can um, in the um, above um, results. Um, so so this is how um, you can not only use SAS um, to um, better understand epidemiological uh, measures, um, but you can also um, take it to uh, better understand the causes of death, uh, mortality, uh, morbidity, and uh, use um, powerful tools like SAS uh, to make better sense of these measures. Um, thank you for listening.